up guys and today's video I will show you the proper grip the hand grip and the proper stance and the proper aiming to target when you are firing pero bago yun syempre kailangan mo malaman yung yung four types of gun safety From the start, they are between your strong hand thumb and index finger, form a V shape. That V should slide up as high as possible on the back of the firearm. This helps control the recoil each time the gun is fired. Keep your trigger finger index on the side of the slide. Wrap the remaining fingers around the grip of the gun. Just like that, you are watching on the video. And then with your another hand, your another hand will be served as your support hand. Place the muscle area of your thumb and the rest of your palm into the open surface on the grip. It should fit similar to a puzzle piece. Wrap your finger over the top of your strong hand but don't interweave them. And now, if you are done with the given instructions, you are now ready to fire. Place the gun securely into your dominant hand. Spread apart your thumb and index finger. Place the gun into the crook that forms, keeping the gun back strap as high as possible. Ganto, yung proper hand grip, yung strong hand mo, siya yung hawak at siya yung dun sa kakalabit sa trigger. Then yung weak hand mo, support siya, dapat matakpan na itong grip na to. Para yung recoil ng barrel natin, i-assure um, siya na hindi, hindi kakawala yung barrel. At yung makakatulong din to para uh, mas accurate yung tama mo. Kung right-handed ka or left-handed ka, walang problema. Kapag once a right-handed ka naman, nakikita nyo yung part na to. Kapagitaw sa nyo. Siya yung mag-focus yung dito. Okay? Awa ka nyo lang sana. Kasi yung matitira ng tatlong finger, magiging ng tatlong finger, siya yung matatot sa ilangin. And then ito, itong trigger finger mo, saan siya? Dito lang siya nakalabas. Nakikita nyo sa labas lang siya. Bakit sa labas lang siya? Huwag mo kalimutan yung four types of gun safety, okay? Lagi nasa labas yan. Papasok mo lang yan, kapag once na nagka-target ka na, o tumutok ka na. Sa left-handed naman, ganun din. Ganun din. Ganun din yung proseso. Okay, ganun din. Same lang. Walang pagkakaiba. And then, kasi right-handed ako eh. So, ano gagamit? Gagamit din. Ano gagamit ng left-handed ito? Kung left-handed, maging support na lang siya. Huwag once na nagka-target ka na. Paano? Itong straight na ito, itong pump na ito, siya yung magpupunta dito saan sa putas na ito. Ayan o. Ayan o, gagawin mo yung putas. So, anong gagawin ng four finger na ito? Yung four finger, ito yung magiging backup. Ano ka rin? Ito yung magiging hawa niya. Ito yung hawa. So, kapag once na yun, hinawakan mo na may fit, sinong hawa ko na may fit? Yung right-handed mo o yung left-handed mo? Saan ka pumuputok o yung backup lang? Yung magiging hawak ng may pet, yung kung saan, kung saan yung backup lang siya. Kasi hindi pwedeng yung kung saan ka pumutok. Kasi pwedeng tendencies dahil sa panghawak mo ng may pet, pwedeng magiging ba yung target mo. Okay? And then, um, <clears throat> next one is the proper stand. Kasi ganito na siya eh. Um, ganito lang na yung mag-bend ka. Mag-bend ka, ganun lang siya. Proper stance when firing. Bend forward slightly from hips, gun on target, sight align, arms fully extend, knees flexed but not bend. 
toes parallel. That's the proper stance in firing. Faces the target squarely. The feet are set shoulder width apart. The toes face the target and are aligned. The knees are flexed at an angle that bars somewhat, and the shooter leans forward from the waist towards the target. The shooter's arm are extended and form an isosceles triangle, hence the name. pinakita ko sa inyo yung stance ko ah, yun yung tinatawag na isosceles hindi naman po tayo professional ano? meron lang tayong kaunting kalaman kung paano yung i-handle ng tama yung barrel at kung paano magpaputok ng tama at yung mga disiplina natin na yun yung pinaka importante ngayon pala um, papaliwanag ko din, ko din kung bakit yung stance na napili ko yung isosceles ay nakaganyan at kung bakit yung shoulder ko eh nakawa push forward uh, ayun dahil lang nun para yung pressure or recoil ng barrel eh hindi kayo basta basta may tutulak um, patalikod at may iwasan yung insidente na makasakit ka o kaya ikaw yung masaktan when it comes to fire the gun Place your index finger on the trigger. The space between the tip of your finger and the top knuckle should be the only part on the trigger. Position your wrist so that the heel of your non-dominant hand is as high and flat on the gun as possible. In doing this, you can ultimately support and control the pistol better. To hit the center of your target, your front sights and rear sights should be lined creating a horizontal line across the top. The top of the front sight should sit in the middle of the target. Yung, yung four types of gun safety. So, first, You need to treat every gun loaded, alright? Kailangan mong itreat lage, papa peke man na barrel yan o toto. Kailangan mong itreat na laging loaded yan. In order to ensure a gun does not accidentally misfire or injure you or those around you, always assume it is loaded and handle the gun accordingly. Cardinal rules of gun safety: always treat all firearms as if they were loaded. Laging tratuhin na kahit anong uri ng barrel ay laging nakaload. Number one, always treat your gun as if it is loaded. Kahit hindi siya ano, loaded, dapat lagi yung iniisip na meron pa rin siyang bala sa loob. As if practice din para mas may iwasan yung insidente. And then second, um, never point the gun in anything you are not willing to destroy. Huwag mong, pag, huwag mong itutok yung barrel kahit kanino. destroy. Never point the gun at anything that you are not willing to destroy. Just like this example, the gun is pointed at the house of someone that you are not willing to destroy even you think it is not loaded. Rule number three, 
keep your finger off the trigger until your sights are on the target and you have the decision to shoot. Just like this example, she just getting ready to fire but her trigger finger is already on the trigger. You can accidentally press it and shoot anyone. This is the proper way. Make sure that you only place your trigger finger on the trigger once you have selected your target and decided you are ready to fire. Okay, and keep your finger out or keep your finger off the trigger until you are sight on the target. So, paano yun? Laging naka ganun dapat yung trigger finger out. Laging naka out dapat yung trigger natin. Okay, ipapasok mo lang siya kapag once na ready ka ng pumotok or, or nakita mo na yung target mo. Huwag mo yung itutok ng kahit ano mang uri ng bagay kung ito ay hindi mo pa naay si Baril. Pangatlo, lagi yung dapat naka trigger finger out. Lagi nating i-practice to. Disiplina din bilang paggamit ng ating barel. Trigger finger out. And then lastly, rule number four, be sure of the target and what's behind it. Kapag once na nag-target ka na, tignan mo kung, nang, kung anong nasa likod nito at anong nasa likod mo. Para mag, ma, ano mo yung security. Rule number four, be sure of your target and what is behind it. For this example, the branch of the cat tree is my target. And look what is behind it. In order to prevent unnecessary harm when firing a weapon, you must be sure to know exactly what is behind your target. Pangapat, dapat bago mo ipasok yung index finger mo sa trigger, i-sure mo yung target mo. Hindi lang basta-basta i-sure, pero i-sure mo yung sa likod nito at kung, nasa, kung sino pa yung tatamaan para may iwasan yung insidente. Ngayon, ano, ano nga ba yung importansya ng cardinal rules na to? Ang importansya nito ay eh, para may iwasan yung mga pangyayari na hindi ka nais-nais. Halimbawa, naglilinis ka ng barel, pero hindi mo sinusunod yung mga gun safety rules. Accidentally, naiputok mo, tinamaan yung kapatid mo, or kapamilya mo. Hindi mo na maibabalik once na may naaksidente, lalo na yung barel, walang sariling isip. Anong isip ng barel? Tayo. Tayong owner. Or tayong mga mayawak nito. Cardinal rules of gun safety. Always treat all firearms as if they were loaded. Never allow the muzzle of any firearm to point at anything you are not willing to destroy. Never put your finger near the trigger until you are ready to fire. Do not depend on any mechanical device for safety. Always be sure of your target and what is behind and in front of it. Thank you for watching!